Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen. So today for fun, we're going to do another abstract landscape tutorial. Super fun. We're going to do that wet and wet sky. As you can see that granulated wash happening with the colors kind of highlighted underneath. It makes it look like it's glowing. Um, I go over this step by step. If you have never tried abstract, you should try it. It's really kind of fun, playful, helps you play with techniques, all that good stuff. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. And if you're a Patreon member, stay tuned because you have an extended part of this video. So let's get started. All right, I'm using 100% cotton cold press paper block from Fabiano. This is their bright white. This is seven by 10. I've taped with Scotch magic tape, just like one fourth way down from the paper here. I'm gonna play with a little wet and wet sky, remove the tape, I'm gonna play with some abstract kind of land mass. So I'll use a Princeton number 12 Neptune series. I'm going to loosen up some ultramarine blue deep and some burnt sienna, mixing up a nice sky color. Blue, gray, brown. I'm going to clean up my brush, and I'm going to get this whole area wet. You can just use a simple big brush for that. This is like a two inch brush. Oh, I had pigment on there. Goodness, I'll go back to my 12. <laughs> so there's a little pink in there. I'm going to get this wet. Real time tutorials here, people. And it's nice and wet. You can see that. You see the sheen? Grab these colors and play with just putting in a nice intense sky in or a lighter sky. You can just kind of swipe. I do a few swipes. Swipe, another swipe, a little bit of swipes here. One big one. And then a couple of little ones on the bottom. And if you want a little bit darker on top to more dramatic effect, you can make it darker by adding more paint. And just notice that I'm tilting the paper. It will get darker on the top and later on the bottom. And I'm getting really kind of just dark on one side. Oops, too much of that brown. It happens. A little bit more and call it a day. Don't want to fuss with this too much. I'll go down a little bit more here. And a little bit more. I really want to leave some white. And I'm going to clean up my brush and just kind of like mop up this extra here. Don't want that like blue line, but I do want it damp. And this kind of just looks like a blob. I'm going to have to move the paint a little bit back this way. I'm tilting the paper so the paint kind of moves and down a little bit to my sky. It will dry lighter. If I'm not, if you wanted more clouds, you can kind of play with lifting a little bit. Don't want to fuss too much. I like to do it really kind of quickly. But you can kind of play around with lifting the paint. This means you clean up your brush, kind of twist it. If you wanted some more clouds. Don't use the paper towel. It will kind of look fake. All right. Just gonna leave that like that. This is still pretty damp. We can kind of blend and bleed couple of little fuzzies of trees on the horizon using the ultramarine blue and burnt sienna. I use ultramarine blue deep actually. I get these two colors here. Now where you want your landmass trees depends on where you're going to be. So I think I'm just going to tap them right here and they'll make these fuzzy trees kind of happen. So I'm kind of tapping one little section and then like another little teeny section here. Just far away trees. Get a little bit bigger here. And like that. So I got this far away tree mass. 
the stormy sky. That's a little bit it. That's it. Just just tap the little mid, the little section right there and don't tap anywhere else. And now we just have to let it sit and let it dry. If you want to add some like lighter ones back here, because this will end up being a little bit darker, just water down your paint and just tap a really kind of a light gray color one. Maybe like really gray light ones here. This whoop, we don't even have water on that side. So I might get a little bit of water here and tap the gray bloom tree. Really pale. And some really pale ones here. But it went the really intense dark ones like right in the middle. All right, so we need to let this dry and we'll come back. Look at the granulation when you use ultramarine blue and burnt sienna. Do you see it? It ends up having like this yellow tangy kind of cool hue to it. And all the granulation here um, has that kind of like suns behind it kind of sky, right? Just a few swipes and these little taps on this guy. Let's let it dry and we'll remove the tape and we'll paint this really cool foreground. Once it's dry, I remove the tape. Look at that straight line. Fantastic. It doesn't rip the paper either. Scotch magic tape. And now we can play around with the um, foreground. So I'm gonna grab my number 12 brush, mix up some greens, uh, cadmium yellow deep, Prussian blue. And we're not gonna paint this whole massive area. And some burnt umber, more yellow. If you add more blue, it gets deeper green. See, so mixing up all these greens over here. Make a nice little messy puddle in there. Get this bright chartreuse color. Mix it in with the yellow again. So we're just gonna play with the yellows, the browns, the greens. Kind of not hitting that line, leaving that. Right, mixing up the color a little bit thicker, deeper green with the blue and the brown. And I'm just gonna go like across. I'm not gonna do too much of that green. You just wanna keep it kind of light. Maybe add a little bit of this green kind of coming downward here a little bit. Right, and some of the burnt umber or burnt sienna itself, playing around, with, just adding in some of that color. We're just kind of playing. This is the part that's fun. And we're gonna do some like spraying or moving around with a big brush. So if you have a big flat brush like this, this is just a two inch craft brush. I'm just gonna get some water on it, and it's pretty wet. <laughs> just start to go down here and wet this part and go over that a little bit. And now at this point we can play with adding some kind of marks with a credit card, etc. I'm gonna mush this a little bit on the side. This is very wet down below. And we can grab this brush and kind of mush this part too. See how it blends and bleeds. So whatever we add to this now, it's gonna blend and bleed. Move it down, right? We could take uh, a credit card Whatever credit card. I can just grab some oh, tube paint, maybe some red paint. Cadmium red light. Just mac it on the credit card. Go across like this. Tap little taps. Like that. Grab the burnt sienna, burnt umber. Mixing in with that color. Get some blue there. Little lines like that. You see how just little lines, little tappy lines. I'm gonna grab the yellow right on that credit card. You can kind of scrape it down a little bit. And now, if you don't have a spray brush, you should get a spray brush because they're your best friend. Spray and move the paint. It moves the paint. You really want to kind of play. See, I was just like swimming in that water. And it's dripping down. 
you want on a surface that's not going to be like important <laughs> you know you can wipe it up right playing around with this i might grab my 12 brush lift some of this paint here but again you can kind of play with moving that around and that's how you make it a little bit more abstract i might grab a little bit of yellow kind of mush this over here get this pretty intense you don't want to have to paint every single section of the paper um, you could grab watercolor pencils and play with moving that around so if you have watercolor pencils this is a great thing to do with that i might just grab a black or a brown kind of just draw in some little marks right the squiggles uh, some green it kind of blends too get all your frustrations out on the watercolor pencils just love little marks but even the credit card is fun to do see and you grab some of the red pencil look at that just tapping <laughs> It's telling you get all your frustrations out. It's fantastic. Uh, any color color, you know, I may grab some pink and play around while well, it's damp. Purples, blues, uh, turquoise. Ooh, turquoise would be really kind of cool. See, look at that. Just kind of squiggle. Get your frustrations out. <laughs> so the bottom is like chaos and the top more serene. Does that make any sense? This is where you play with all the things you have, all the watercolor tools you have. You can even use salt. Um, this area is puddling, so maybe I'll lift up a little bit of that watercolor. And I might go in and just kind of play around with doing some dry brushing too. It's still very wet, so thick paint. A lot of energy happening here, which I like. A little more browns, lots of green. Some dry brush over here. That's how you create like a really cool abstract watercolor. The sky is intense. Now you don't have to, now that it's dry, you can kind of go back in here and you can kind of fill in that area with the white line if you want to kind of attach them more. And still leave that line here. Almost like there's an ocean there. Just enjoy playing with the watercolor. And this didn't take much time, right? This is still very wet. I might want to lift some of this color, twisting my brush, tapping. Don't want to mess with the paper too much because it gets peeled up. But I did want to lighten this up a little bit. And then I think I'm going to put just a swath of intense color and grab my whatever pen, pen, pen brush I have handy of that bright red. Look at that. can lift it if you didn't like it but I like the intensity of the red the green just add something if I had turquoise I would do that too I like the turquoise pencil I might go back in and grab that turquoise pencil I really liked oh, let's see if it's too wet I won't do it you can make this make some like intense mm -hmm. if you have turquoise paint like right out of the tube try and play with that um, I can mix up some peacock blue. No, it's right out of the tube. Might add a little bit. I don't know why I'm looking into the turquoise. Going over here. Just having fun is the yellow. And, of course, don't forget to splatter. That's the beautiful. You want to, don't want to wreck your sky up here, though. 
a little bit down here. Just a thought of this kind of crazy energy. And you might say your eye is going right to that red, and it is. Maybe you can put a little bit of red back here to counteract so your eye moves around the paper. Right? Play around with that. Even bring you some bright yellow back here. And that's it. Just a really simple abstract. Um, now this looks like there could be water back here. So, you know, as, you do, as you're playing with this, you kind of see things. So now I'm going to go and add a little blue. Turquoise. So now it looks like water. All the fun stuff. A little blue here. A little bright yellow. Just having fun. The key part was that sky with those trees. And then you have intensity. If you didn't like some of the dark colors, you can always try and play with lifting if you felt like it was too dark. So this is where you have your water, your watercolor brush is damp and you're lifting off the paper and tapping back on a paper towel. Like I just did there. I might just, all the techniques are coming into play. I'll just get a clean brush and I'll tap and I'll lift. And what remains behind is some really cool effects. With the scraping and all that good stuff. I really enjoy that. And I see if I don't like this one, I might lift this a little bit. Don't want to, like I said, do too much of it. But it's fun. See? Just kind of, almost like you're scrubbing. You can even use a paper towel and go like that. And you have that wonderful color. So I hope you enjoyed playing with abstracts. It's just a different way of playing with watercolor. You're using a credit card, you're lifting, you're blending and bleeding the paint. I love the granulation in the sky. And just the energy of the craziness down below. It's just a lot of fun. You really gotta just play a little bit. The sky, you know, this is where you play with the techniques of making the sky and then scraping in with the credit card or even a watercolor pencil, a regular pencil. I mean, a regular pencil would be really kind of fun too. I mean, I just have a mechanical pencil. Just drawing little things. You can draw little things in here. So I hope this was fun and you enjoyed it. Different techniques to play with painting the sky. When you do that granulated wash, you get those really cool effects with that undercoating of the, the color coming through. It's almost like it's sun. And then just scraping, painting, tapping, all that good stuff. Uh, lots of fun. If you would like a little additional video, the Patreon members get these kind of fun little cards to play with. That's the extended video. If you'd like to be a Patreon member, click the link in the description box below. Um, you have extended extra videos, exclusive tutorials on Thursdays. We have a Facebook group. So if you want extra additional content and you want to support my channel here on YouTube, please consider joining Patreon and you can cancel anytime and join anytime. So, I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care and I will speak to you soon.